Today we're going to learn about circles and arcs and we're going to set up some proportions, but before we begin we need to take a step back and talk about some basic vocabulary. Remember in 10.3 we established in a polygon if we were to take a center point and measure this angle here that it is called the central angle. Well guess what? In a circle it is called the exact same thing and we would write it like this. The measure of angle A PB, so we would use these three letters here, and we could go in the reverse order as well, equals 75 degrees. Now something new is that this from here to here is called an arc, and it always has the same degree amount as the central angle. So the arc that is straight across from the central angle has the same degree. We can measure this arc in degrees, and remember the whole circle is 360 degrees, we're just taking a portion of it and um, labeling it in degrees, but we can also measure this arc in inches and in centimeters, we can use it in a measurable distance. So two different ways, we can exp express it in degrees or actual measurements. So this arc, we would say the measure of arc and then we always put the arc symbol above the two letters, is 75 degrees. Now moving on, um, I took this picture at Disneyland, and what we're going to do is we are going to set up a proportion to figure out what this arc length is from here to here. So I just um, randomly picked a degree measurement, I think I'm pretty close, that this degree angle here is about 45 degrees, but before we set up a proportion, we need to review the formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r or diameter times pi. We're going to use that a lot in this section, and we're going to again set up a proportion to solve for the arc length. Now this I want you to write down because we're going to use it over and over and over again, and what we're going to do is set this proportion up and just fill in the blanks and cross multiply. So on this side, I'm going to express everything in degrees. I'm going to put the central angle over 360 degrees. It is always going to be over 360 degrees because we know that the whole circle is always 360 degrees. But this I may not necessarily know. And the central angle is a portion of the circle. The 360 degrees is the whole circle. Same idea over here. The arc length is a portion of the circle, and then we're going to put this over the circumference, and the circumference is the whole circle. So portion over the circle, over the whole circle. So let's start filling in with what we have. Well, I'm given here that the central angle is 45 degrees. So again, I'm replacing the central angle with 45 degrees. It's always over 360. That is not going to change and I don't know the arc length. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, I happen to know on Mickey's Ferris wheel that the diameter is 148 feet, and that is absolutely true because I googled it and I looked it up in Wikipedia. So if you were just dying to know, the diameter of Mickey's Ferris wheel, 184, 148 feet. I'm going to simplify the 45 over 360 I always recommend simplifying because you're just going to have smaller numbers. So this reduces to 1 over 8. Now I can cross multiply. It would just be 8x equals 148 pi, and then of course divide both sides by 8. I would, um, I figured out that this arc length from here to here on Mickey's Ferris wheel is 18.5 pi feet squared. Let's do another one, and this time we're going to use the same proportion, except we're going to solve for something that's a little different. So I took this picture on the California side, and it was just this um, circle on this random wall, so I thought, hey, perfect, let's use this in a problem. Well, um, again, we have the exact same proportion here, but this time I don't know the central angle. I'm given the arc length. So I am just going to fill in what I've been given. 
Well, I don't know the central angle. That's what I'm trying to solve for this time. And it's over 360. This time I'm given the arc length. It's 20 inches. And I'm given the radius. It's 10 inches. So remember, we're going to use this formula. We can use either one depending on the information we've been given. Well, I've been given the radius, so I'm going to do 2 pi r, which then uh, simplifying that, 2 times 10 is 20. And of course, I can cross cancel those 20s, and that leaves me with 1 over pi. Now I'm ready to cross multiply. It would be 360 equals pi x. And then if I divide by pi, I would end up with approximately 114.59 degrees. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in class. Hopefully this made sense.